Well, we're here at Bluegrass Nursery with our friend Lisa. Lisa, it's been a little while. I think the last time we were here, we were talking about getting ready for summer. That's right. Now we're talking about saying goodbye. That's right, and it happens very quickly here. We go from really nice weather to, here we go, we're cold. <laughs> totally, yeah. so what, uh, what are some of the things we should be thinking about at this time of the year in terms of, you know, having a little bit less work to do maybe next year for in the sure. spring? So let's start with your lawn, for one. Okay. Um, most people forget about fertilizing their lawn. They do it all summer and spring, and they completely forget that the fall you should be doing things for your lawn. Okay. So we've got uh, Scott's Turf Builder, and that's winter care. And basically what that is doing is it's promoting root growth over green growth. Okay. Right now you're not concerned with green. You want your roots to be good, and you want them to be taken. So the Scott's Turf Builder really helps the lawn. And then you move on to your perennials and trees for okay. what you're doing for your... So just sticking with our grass for a second, yeah. we do, um, do want to make sure we get that on before a snow. Before it freezes. Okay. And we're good probably for the next couple of weeks. It's okay. getting frosty, so things are shutting down. Right. But okay. uh, the roots are still grabbing and metabolizing the sunshine and, and still wanting to grow. And what about, is it important to put the uh, fertilizer on before we know we're going to get some moisture? I know in the summer, my husband's constantly like, it's going to rain tomorrow, I should fertilize, fertilize tonight. Does yeah. that make sense? Well, it does, okay. or you pull out the sprinkler. Uh, okay. you, you don't want to put any kind of fertilizer on the lawns if you aren't watering. You okay. Know, you'll burn it. Yes, we yeah. don't want that. We don't want that. No. And you know, if you get a 12 or a 15 degree day, you definitely don't want it sitting there with no water. Okay, now yeah. we talk about perennials and annuals. Yeah. Where do we start with those? Okay, so the annuals, they're done for the year. You want to get those cleaned out of your garden. They promote diseases, so we don't want those in huh. there. Uh, for perennials, you want to cut back and keep them a little bit lower to the ground, but you don't want to cut it so far down that the snow can't gather around your perennials because the snow is an excellent insulator. If you don't want to be doing a lot of work with mulches and stuff like that, you would want to leave a little bit so the snow packs around it, or you can put shavings, even you know your guinea pig shavings, right. or you can use peat moss. Just a bag guinea of peat pig moss. Because yeah. everyone out there has a guinea pig, right? Oh, right. <laughs> or a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, those are really good tips. Um, if people want more information what, just on how to winterize, mm -hmm. can they come on and see you guys oh, here sure. and you'll give them advice? Definitely. Even if they're not buying a whole schwack of stuff from you? For sure. Okay. Yeah, all of our uh, employees here are knowledgeable on the plants and what to do in the fall. And Well, where were you when I moved to Calgary for the first time and I planted a bunch of cedars? You didn't come see me, though. I didn't come see you. <laughs> no cedars. No, no cedars, cedars in Calgary. No. I learned that the hard way. Okay, some great advice as always. Lisa, thanks so much. But you also have something I want to touch yeah. on. The Pumpkin Fest. What's that all about? Okay, so Pumpkin Fest is uh, our effort to raise money for the Children's Hospital. Okay. Last year we raised $25,000 and we're hoping to beat that this year. Okay. We have face painting, pumpkin carving, and the Fiesta de Resistance is the dropping of an 800 pound pumpkin on a very small car. Very oh, big smash. smash. Big smash. So for all the dads that don't want to come out That's on the right. weekend on October 12th, just there's going to be some smashing. There's going to be some manly activities. You for sure. After you get your face painted like a fairy with your daughter, you get to see a smash. That's right. Big That's smash. Right. That's all yeah. you need to know. That's okay. all. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much for having no us, problem. Lisa. Okay, we'll be back. Come out to Bluegrass Nursery for any questions you might have. Ask for Lisa specifically. There's about three of them that work here, so yeah. one of them will help you out. <laughs> We're going to be back from Margo Calgary right after the break.